Welcome to Meet a Tree, Center 2, Reading the Rings. In this center, in the bin, you will find, um, first of all on the top, as always, the outline is taped to the top. There are tree cookies. I believe there are seven total tree cookies that are all um, cross-sections of trees. There are magnifying glasses. There is a book called Leaves and Trees with lots of interesting information. And then um, there's a folder that's got the activity called Reading the Rings and there's an answer key. And um, and then there's a hand there are various handouts and notes that are information you can go over um, and incorporate while the kids are looking at the um, samples. It gives some notes and features of the wood to look for, such as rays and pitch and heartwood and rings, which I'll talk about. Um, there's another handout that talks about what you might see in a tree slice, and it gives identification of the parts and features that you might find. Then there is also um, a story about a tree that lived through a fire and a drought and a major bug attack. That's that could go. Up, you could go over that. And then another copycat page um, that's called Reading the Rings, and it um, is probably more of just good background information for you, the person doing this center, to read over and find important things. It wouldn't be something that you would want to necessarily read out loud to the kids. So, in this center. You are um, going to have kids examine tree trunk rings and see how wood records the life cycle of the tree. To begin with, I would um, maybe start by um, either talking about some of the things that they're going to see, some of the technical terms, like um, where you'd find the layer of growth cells, which is called the cambium, um, what the kids already know about a tree ring, and um, and just have a quick little discussion about that, and then um, I would hand out hand the kids each their own, if possible, tree cookie, and um, have them start finding the parts that you've talked about. Um, and you can do that. You can talk about the parts using the what you might see in a tree slice, because it talks about where the outer bark is, the inner bark, the cambium. It talks about um, what an annual ring is, where you'd find the sapwood, and where you'd find the heartwood. So all these things um, the kids should be identifying and finding in their own tree cookie. And then um, you can have them then you can have them count the rings um, and you can start from the center and just have them count out and maybe find out how old the tree was when it died. And then you might have them start noticing some different aspects like this tree it looks like since these growth rings are wide had really good years of water um, at the beginning but then it looks like there was a pretty good drought because they get skinnier and skinnier and then this blue stain um, for those of you that don't know is um, left from the pine beetle and it's actually the stuff that kills the tree so um, but each and each of these trees has a different story. This one has really wide rings, which means this tree got lots of water. Um, these are all somewhat fragile. This one is broken in part because of um, a disease that the tree had. But please be super careful with them. Please keep track of them all. Um, so it talks about about the third paragraph down. During a good growing season, there would be a wide ring. That would mean there was lots of water. And during a poor growing season, a drought or a long cold winter, um, or even a spring frost, the rings are going to be skinnier. Um, and then it talks about mentioning other factors besides whether that influenced the tree's growth. And then last but not least, if you have time, you can get out this activity that's called Reading the Rings and... Um, there are five, four different tree ring examples and different examples of um, things that can affect tree growth, 
um, whether or not a tree fell near fell on it near it, a fire, insects, whether or not maybe it was a dead branch. So all those things um, have a key, and you can get the kids to try to identify which ring tells the story of which tree. Um, and there are ones you can make copies of if you want to. The the copy code for the PTA's copy code is one nine five four zero. And um, and as always, do your best to um, put everything back the way you found it. The next center is depending. The next group, the next class is depending on um, how well we all clean up. And if you have any questions, you can email us at mitchellelf at gmail.com. Thanks.